You're having a good day with no interruptions. Browsing your favorite video streaming platform, you stumble upon an interesting looking video. It is a recommended one, so it is something you will probably like. It ends up being rather bizarre. Floating heads, alienated geometry, computerized voices, random insertion of philosophical and existential traits. What is it? There are many possibilities. You may have stumbled upon a channel of some experimental filmmaker, not unlike these ones. But considering we are in the 21st century and the video is quite popular, I suggest another possibility. You ventured into the beautiful world of surreal memes. What it's all about? Why do you like it? Let me explain, or rather try to, in quality content. A common misconception about surrealism is that it relies on randomness. Surrealism utilizes it from time to time, but main component of surreal art actually lies in another field. Word surreal consists of sur and real, with the first word derived from French and meaning super, basically super reality, enhanced experience of it. Our understanding of reality is quite subjective with agreement to shift on perception of selected dogmatic facts and rules. What surrealism does, in a nutshell, is bending such rules while still appealing to them and using our own subconsciousness and consciousness in balance, crafted to be pleasing or thoughtful. This 1953 painting named Golconde by Belgian artist René Magritte one of the main surrealists out there is a classic example. It's raining man. Already an improbable situation. But Magritte takes it to a new level, depicting the man as not falling but floating in the air calmly. Our brain struggles to achieve understanding of the situation. It does it automatically and that's where details get into place and fulfill their mission, effectively collapsing our own logic. They can be that calm and undisturbed while falling, but how on earth are they falling in such quantities in the first place? I bet you've seen that logic before. Dreams are highly subjective, but they mainly rely on same basic structure. Dream tries to keep you in at all costs, and the most effective way to do that is keep you busy, questioning, wondering, horrified, entertained, sometimes all at once. But how classic surrealism and dreams are reflected in surreal memes? At first glance, aesthetic of surreal memes seem to be too all over the place, to be as intricate as Magritte's painting. But it has its rules. Here is a picture by Hradzczek of Reddit, which dissects the rules of surreal memes pretty well, in my humble opinion. Step 1. Odd a gradient of nice colors or unrelated images. Basically appeal to brain with something it will recognize and engage with. But don't explain why it is there. Step 2. Use funky fonts. People usually read well what is written in one font, but if you use a few similar ones with different detailing, it makes words barely recognizable. Most people will recheck text for mistakes in such cases, and that's where next rule comes to shine. Step 3. Slightly misspelled words. Usually there is some logic behind the typing errors. Look close and you will find one. But in surreal memes misspelling is pretty much deliberate. It defies logic. Look at the keyboard and try to comprehend how one could insert N in misspelled. Step 4. A -A 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 -A. While serving as a stereotypical depiction of a scream, overblown massive of one letter is hardly adequate representation of one. Number 4. 
Note that Hrad's check omitted 5 for no reason and shifts from style to style while listing. Do not trust object for he, it, they action. Or rather, do not trust your own perception of said object. 6. Meme man or orange. Two prevalent characters of serial memes are abstract humanoid figures, which combine overall anatomical absurd with suddenly realistic details. 8. Hrashchek also omitted 7. Yes. How many questions could be possibly answered with a simple yes? Well, not much, but in surreal memes, dialogues are deliberately inhumane. Step 7. Oh, he's not omitted it. He shifted it. Replace K with CC. The reason why this works is because our brain will still read the word properly and yet will notice that the word is different. Step 0, which is actually 9. Surreal spaces. Bending punctuation serves the same purpose. Why would words look like that anywhere? 10. It's 10. That last rule could actually be formulated as dimensional awareness. While dimensions often serve as plot point for serial memes, it is also an integral part of method. You can only form words from Unicode signs in text. Dimensional awareness is even more obvious in the audiovisual format. Here is a video by Tim Attainment, a talented audiovisual artist who does original videos as well as adapting existing serial memes from image to audiovisual form. One of Tim Attainment's uh, trademarks is to use his own watermark as if it was a real object, which succumbs under the rules of physics. But wait, aren't those rules mainly absent from the world of surreal memes? Aren't they otherworldly different? That is exactly the point. The same kind of juxtaposition. A realistic detail in unrealistic environment as a storytelling device. And it is all eventually about storytelling. Surreal memes are well grounded in reality, because they are inspired by how fragile reality is for our perception. One can perceive a dream as reality, a movie, a painting, a meme. Because we create reality, and we can always bend the rules. A powerful message which makes surreal memes and their existence very well justified. Unlike end credits of that video, which will be long and tedious as life itself, and will offer a post credit scene which won't explain anything, mainly being a ruse.
Что это?